Welcome to Twisting Fitness. I'm Jess, and today I'll be guiding us through a power yoga workout designed to strengthen, mobilize, and release our hips to improve flexibility and ease of movement. Giving options, we'll explore flowing into side and front splits if your practice is calling for it. Let's go ahead and start out on your mat in child's pose. Come to child's pose with your hips sitting over your heels and your arms reaching out forward or resting down on your forearms. Settle in. Begin to turn your awareness inward. Start to observe your body feeling the breath moving in and out. And we'll deepen our breath. Breathing in and out through our nose. Feel free to activate Ujjayi breath, gently constricting the back of your throat, sounding like an ocean wave. Breathing deeply, filling all the way up to the collarbones. And exhaling all the way. Keeping your breath steady throughout your practice. One more breath here. Inhale, round up. Keeping the eyes closed, we'll set an affirmation for our practice today. I connect within to find courage to leap without fear. Inhale, we'll reach your arms out under the shoulders. Tuck your toes under, spread the knees, or spread the knees, make sure they're under the hips. Draw the belly in and we'll drop the belly, lift your heart, big inhale. Exhale round, press the mat, pick the knees up, hover. Lower the knees, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale round, tuck, press the mat, lick, pick up the knees. Inhale a few more, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, head and tail. Exhale round, tuck the head and tail, press the mat. Inhale, lift. And exhale round, pick up the knees, hover, lower the knees down, inhale, reach the left arm and leg long, modified side plank, now inhale, come up, reach through your arms, hold, one breath, exhale, come up, coming over to your gate pose, reach through the right hand. Circle the fist, or make the fist and circle the wrist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, take the right hand down. Reach the left arm and leg long. Pick up the left leg and we'll pulse. Flex the foot. One, two, three, four, five. Lift it. Now take the left hand to the inner arch. Coming into this. Tiger pose variation, almost a modified plank dancer. Breathing, opening the shoulder, opening the hip, opening the spine. Exhale, left hand and knee down. Inhale, reach the right arm and leg long. Belly in, extending. Press through the left knee and lift your arms up. Hold, activate your core. Inhale, come up. Exhale, gate pose, reaching through the left fingertips. Make a fist and circle the wrist. Inhale, up and exhale the hand down. Reach the right arm and leg long. Pick up 
the leg and we'll pump for one, two, three, four, five, hold, reach. Now bring the right hand to the inner right arch. Tiger pose variation, releasing our shoulder, our spine and hip, warming as we begin our practice. Exhale down, tuck your toes under, spread your fingers, grip the mat, shift over the hands, pick the hips up and press the heels back. Downward facing dog, knees bent, heels high. Inhale, now exhale, push the heels down. Now maybe pedal out your dog if you like. Inhale, look forward and we'll start stepping to the front of your mat, heel to toe. Inhale, lengthen the spine, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold, take the backs of the hands down, relax the head. Knees bent as much as you like. <clears throat> forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, roll yourself up, sweep your arms overhead, gaze to your thumbs. Exhale, hinging at the hips, fold forward. Drop the hands, look back. Inhale, lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, fold. Shift over to the left foot, pick up the right foot, we'll circle the ankle. Inhale, lift your chest, step the right leg back, lower the knee. Inhale your arms up into a low lunge, Anjane Asana. Breathe, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Untuck the back toes so they're down. Big inhale. Exhale the right hand down. And twist to the left side, option to pick up the right knee and deepen into the hip flexors. Reach back, open the chest. Inhale. Exhale, start sweeping the left hand around, come back to the right knee. Come into your half split, pointing and flexing the foot. Stretching out the hamstring and down into the lower leg as well. Inhale, take the left leg, sweep it around. We'll come through knees, chest, chin. Draw the elbows back. Coming into your cobra, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, come down, push back, come through table. Pick up the hips, come into downward facing dog. Press the heels down and the sternum towards the thighs. Spread the fingers. Inhale, step forward with the right knee. Lower the right foot down. Left knee comes to the mat. Back to Anjane Asana. Arms reach. Inhale, back toes untucked. Shoulders away from the ears. Belly in and legs active. Big inhale. Exhale, take the left hand down. Reach the right arm back. Option to pick up the back knee and deepen into the hip flexor. Open the heart. Lunge twist. Now exhale, sweep the right arm forward. Coming into the half split on the right side, point and flex the foot. Keep the spine long. Inhale, look forward, step the right foot down, tuck the back toes under. Come onto the right leg, pick up the back leg. Standing split and circle the left ankle. Inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, fold, deep in Uttanasana. Taking the tops of the arms down once again, or the tops of the hands.
Bend your knees, roll up, sweep the arms overhead. Gaze to the thumbs, exhale, hinging in the hips, forward fold. Once again, look back. Inhale, look forward, flatten the spine. Exhale, we'll shift over to the right foot this time, pick up the left foot. Instead, this time we'll bend the knee. Now open the hips and look over to your foot. Extend the leg, lower it down. Step into Anjani Asana, inhale, reach your arms. Keep the toes tucked under this time. Big inhale. Exhale, pick up the knee and we'll twist, reaching back. Again, getting into the hip flexors and deep into the hips. Exhale, lower the knee down. Now option to fold the back leg in, drawing it towards the bum, stretching into the quad as well as the hip flexor. Inhale, release your foot. Sweep the right arm around, step the back leg in, coming into pyramid pose, stretching our hamstrings on the right leg. Inhale, look forward, press the hands to the mat, slide your legs to high plank. Inhale, now exhale, start coming down to the belly. Inhale, draw the elbows back, cobra. Exhale, coming up onto the knees. As you tuck your toes, push into downward facing dog. Lowering the heels down, lifting the knees gently, drawing the sternum towards the thighs. Inhale, step forward with the left knee. Lower the right knee down, keep the toes tucked under. Reach your arms up, low lunge, big inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Left hand will reach back, knee will lift. Twisting our lunge, breathing. Now exhale, lower the right knee down, fold the back leg in, taking a hold of the foot, releasing our quad, pulling the foot in as you open the shoulder and the chest. Inhale, sweep the left leg around, straighten the back leg, step in to a pyramid pose, squaring the hips, dropping the head down. Inhale, come onto the left leg, pick up the right leg, bend the knee, open the hip, and look to the arch of the foot. Exhale, lower the right leg down. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and take a hold of those elbows if you like. Coming into ragdoll. Releasing. Bend your knees, roll up, sweep the arms overhead, gaze up to your thumbs. Exhale, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Drop the head, look back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank. Shift forward, elbows come in, chaturanga, elbows. Hold, take a breath. Inhale, knees up or down, upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift the knees and press yourself back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. We'll inhale, lift the right leg. Bend the knee, open the hips, coming into three-legged dog. Now option to take the left elbow down and gaze to the foot, deepening into the hip flexor here, building strength. Press the left elbow back up, exhale, Look forward, lift the back leg towards the head. Now exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step the right foot down, keep the back heel lifted. 
Inhale the arms up, high lunge. Front knee bent, back heel reaching back. Inhale, lift up, draw the elbows down. Exhale, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Hold here, deepen. Exhale, hands down, slide the right leg back, high plank. Shift forward, elbows in, chaturanga. Knees up or down, upward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Inhale, pick up the left leg. Flex the foot, bend the knee, open the hips. Option to lower the right elbow down and deepen. Inhale, press through the right hand. Shift forward, look forward, reach the foot towards the head. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step the left foot, reach the right heel back, bending the front knee 90 degrees. We'll reach our arms up into our high lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the elbows down. Inhale, reach. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, draw the elbows down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, hold here. Inhale and exhale, hands step down, slide the left leg through. High plank, elbows in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press the heels down, lift the hips. Rise up on the toes, bend the knees, step, or hop to the front of the mat. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Shake out your neck. Bend your knees and sweep your arms into chair pose. Reach your arms. Sit lower. Exhale, fold. Drop the head. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step back. High plank. Elbows in, shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the right foot, lower the left heel 45 degrees. Square the hips forward, come into warrior one. Lift your heart, draw the belly in. Exhale, hands down. Shift forward, chaturanga, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, pick up the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the left foot, lower the right heel down, 45 degrees. Sweep the arms up, lift your heart, belly in. Exhale, hands down. Slide the left leg through, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the right foot, lower the left heel down. 45, back to your warrior one. Arms reach, heart lifts, inhale. Exhale, open, warrior two. Deepen the, the knee bend on the front leg, breathe. Inhale, reverse, triangle. Exhale, bring the elbow to the right knee or take the hand to the ankle or down to the mat. Sweep the left arm up over the shoulder or up overhead, spinning the pinky forward, side angle pose. Breathe. One long line from your fingertips to your foot. Exhale, 
Hands down, come into lizard pose. Look forward, draw the heart through the arms. So stay here and release into the hip flexors or take flying lizard. Take the right, sho or right shoulder under the right knee. That leg is gonna wrap around the bicep as you grip the mat. You could stay right here. If you just wanna work on progressing slowly, grip the mat. Now hug the right leg around the bicep. Shift forward on your hands, pick up the back leg or keep it down. Progress slowly and safely. Exhale, come back to lizard pose. Slide the right leg back, high plank. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step the left foot, lower the right heel down, 45 degrees. Sweep your arms up, warrior one. Lift your heart. Draw the belly in. Inhale, exhale, open, deepen your knee bend into warrior two. Tuck the hips, reach the arms. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg. And exhale, take the elbow to the knee or down to the ankle or down to the mat for side angle pose. Reach the right arm over the shoulder or spin it up to the head. One long line, side angle. Exhale, hands come down, pick up the back heel, draw the heart through. Lizard pose. Option to stay here or take your flying lizard arm balance or start working towards it. So the left, the left arm will come under the left knee. And so the left leg will hug around, actively hug around the left bicep. Grip the mat. So take the weight onto the hands, hug, wrap that leg around, press onto the hands and pick up the back leg or keep it down. And keep breathing. When you're holding your breath, during exertion, breathe through the effort. Come back to your lizard pose. Take the left leg down, high plank, shift forward. Exhale, elbows in, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rise up onto the toes, bend the knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, fold. Toe heel, the feet apart. And we'll take our hands under our feet. Hand to foot pose. So release our head, look back, draw the shoulders up towards your waist. Shake out your neck, deepen into the hamstrings. Take them a little straighter if you had them bent earlier. Or what feels good to you. Inhale, release your hands. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms into chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit low, make sure you can see your toes behind the knees. Sit lower. Inhale and exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees. Sweep your arms up into chair pose. Once again, hold, sit low. Now step over to the right, shifting the left leg back, coming into your triangle pose. Right hand will come down to the mat, to the ankle or to the lower leg. Send the right arm up, breathe. Draw your belly in and reach through the fingertips. Inhale, take the left arm forward, circle it around as you come over to your left, left leg for Skandasana. Sitting low, 
but holding first. Make sure the, the knee and toes are coming up. So actively hold those up and hold this position halfway. We're really contracting the hips. Now exhale, we'll settle in. If you want to use your hands, lower yourself down, deepening. Take the left hand to the left foot and sweep the right arm up, reach to the fingertips. Option, take the right arm behind the back and take a bind around the left knee. Clasping your hands. Keep the toes actively lifting and the knee. Inhale, release your bind if you have your arms bind, bound. Start shifting forward onto the right leg, transitioning through warrior two. Step back if you need to. Sweep the left leg around the right, coming into eagle pose. So the left elbow will come under the right. Squeeze the thighs in. Hook the toes all the way around if you can or keep the toes down on the mat. Wobbling here. Focus your gaze to help you balance. Inhale, come up. Sweep the left leg back. Start lifting it, bending the knee. Lifting it up towards the head. Now reach the left arm back towards the inner arch. Right arm lifts. Coming into dancer pose. Option to fold forward. Taking the fingertips down to the mat for sugar cane. Or just stay in dancer. Release the back foot wherever you are. Start stepping back with the left leg. Square the hips. Coming into pyramid pose. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Fold the chin down towards the shin. Bring the hands. Turn the fingertips away towards the back of the mat and stay here. Or if you wanna try fall in flamingo, you can press through the fingertips strong in the front leg and pick up the back leg, hold. Lower the foot down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank. Shift forward, elbows in, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press the heels down, activate the legs. Steady your breath. Rise up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward and hop to the front of your mat. Lengthen, exhale, fold. Toe heel the feet apart. Bring the hands up to the low back and interlace the fingers. Stretching our shoulders in Uttanasana. Bend your knees. Lift your chest, release your arms, and sweep your arms into chair pose. Sit low. Sit a little lower. Lift your heart. And shift over to the left, send the right leg back. Straighten the left leg, open into your triangle pose. Trikonasana, left arm comes down to the lower leg or to the mat. Right arm stays straight up above the shoulder, spreading the fingers. Breathing deeply. Inhale, circle the right arm around. Coming over to the right side. Side lunge. Pick up the toes, lift them, and sit low. Hold here. Activate your hips. Stretch the inner left thigh. 
a little more and exhale use the hands to lower down if you need to and inhale take a hold of the right foot or ankle and sweep the left arm up And exhale, take, if you wanna take the bind, take the left arm behind the back, right arm over to the hip, and take a bind. Deepening into Skandasana. Keep the toes lifting up. Now inhale, release your arms. Come through, warrior two. Straighten the back leg, bend the front leg, lift your heart. Come over to the left leg. Right leg crosses, eagle pose. Right arm comes under the left, and you can just take one interlace of the arms or you can hook the hand with the fingers. And you can keep the toes down if you need to or hook them behind the lower leg if you can or just keep them squeezing in. Sit low. Now inhale, come up, take the right leg back, bend the knee, lift it towards the head. Reach back with the right hand, grab the inner arch, lift your left hand up, and come into dancer pose. Keeping the shoulders square, breathe here. Or exhale, start taking it down to the mat, taking the fingertips down, pressing the hand in, or the foot into the back hand. Stretching the hamstrings and the hip flexors and quad. Release the back leg wherever you are. Start working the back, right leg back and down, squaring the hips and shoulders forward, come into your pyramid pose. Drop the head. Inhale, we'll start turning the hands around, pressing through the fingertips. Activate the legs. Now start to, or the front leg, and start picking up the right leg. Hold, fallen flamingo. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands down. Slide the left leg back. Shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, pick up the right leg. Bend the knee, open the hip. Option to take that left elbow down as we did earlier. Checking in, observing any sensations this time that are different from when we started. Inhale up, press through the hands. Look forward, take the foot towards the head. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step the right leg down. Press through the back knee. Inhale, lift your arms up, reach. And exhale, we'll twist to the left side. Now option to press on the right foot and pick up the back leg. Holding this balance. Exhale, the left leg back down. Left hand comes under the left shoulder. Option to come into the side plank or grab the big toe and lift it into your side plank with a split. Release the toe, lift the hips, and reach into your wild thing. 
Exhale back to center. High plank, shift forward, elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Bend the knee, open. Lower the right elbow down if you'd like to deepen. Make it a little more challenging. Checking in. Exhale, lift the right elbow, look forward, reach the foot towards the head. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the left foot, lower the right, or keep the right knee lifted, press the heel back, coming into your high lunge. Inhale. And exhale, circling the arms into heart center. We'll twist to the left side, breathe. Option to make it a little more challenging, shifting onto the left foot, picking up the right leg. Taking this twisted balance variation. Lowering it down. Exhale, right hand comes to the mat. So you can slide the left leg right into your side plank or pick up the big toe and coming into your side plank split. Or you can just have the knee bent, the leg lifted. Side plank with a split or star side plank. Vashistasana variation. Now exhale, the left leg behind you, lift the hips. Lift your heart, wild thing. Exhale, come back to high plank. Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga. Exhale, inhale, up dog. Exhale, lower yourself down. Bend the legs in. Reach back for the ankles. And we'll press the feet, the feet into the hands as you lift your chest, coming into bow pose. Squeeze the legs together. Breathe deeply. Exhale, come down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Maybe taking it a little deeper. Exhale, come down. Keep a hold of the feet and draw the feet in towards the bum. Releasing our quads. Inhale, the elbows through. Take the knees wide, press up onto your knees, taking them wide into frog pose. You can have the feet coming together or taking them wide on the mat. Do what feels good. And maybe we'll extend our right side, deepening into the inner right thigh. Inhale, come forward, lower the right knee, extend the left knee, deepening to the left inner thigh. Inhale, bring the left knee back in and bring the knees closer together, coming into child's pose, recover. We'll inhale, start rounding up. We'll come back to our affirmation. Closing our eyes. I connect within to find courage to leap without fear. Inhale, slowing ourselves down, coming to our mat for some deeper hip stretching and working our way into the splits postures. So draw the hips towards the heels, bringing the soles of the feet together in our bound angle pose. So we'll open the feet, our feet like a book. So press the knees down as you open the feet, lifting your heart. Exhale, fold forward, pressing the knees gently. Keeping the spine as straight as you can. Try not to round too much here. 
inhale come up now take the left leg bring it under the right take the right leg over the top give the right leg a hug so take the right knee towards the left shoulder hug it in you can bring the left arm through and we'll look over as we twist look over the right shoulder breathe deeply reaching through the crown of your head Inhale, come back to center. Take the right leg, draw it in a little closer so that the knees line up. Flex your feet to protect their knees. Ground down through both hips. And we'll inhale, lift the arms up, bend the right elbow, draw it back with the right hand. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward if you like a little deepening. Maybe bringing the left hand up to connect with the right fingertips. Stretching our shoulders as well. Inhale, come up. Now slide the right foot, keeping it flexed to the top of the left knee. Now if, if you want a little more, you can slide the left leg out away from the bum, taking into our fire log pose. So if that's too much, keep the bottom leg in towards your, your, your hips. So lift your heart and breathe here, leveling out. And if you want more, you can gently fold forward, listening to your body. And doing what feels good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, we'll shift our legs into boat pose, lifting your chest. Hold here. Squeeze the knees together. Now extend the leg, hold. Breathe. Now lift your chest a little higher. Draw the belly in a little tighter to the navel. Activate the core a little deeper. Breathe, observe the effort. It's okay if you're shaking. It means your core is working. Now lower the right leg down, folding it in towards the hips. The right leg will come over the left. Ground down through both sit bones. Hug the left shoulder to the right. Lift your heart. Exhale, look back. Reaching through the crown of your head. Looking over the left shoulder. Maybe tuck the chin. Bring the right arm through. Breathe here. Inhale, we'll line the knees up. Coming into our cow face pose. Flex the feet to protect your knees. And inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, take the left elbow back with the right hand. Breathe here, or gently folding forward, taking the right hand up to connect the fingers. Or just holding both hands there if you don't quite have the flexibility to connect the hands. This is your practice. Honor your body. Inhale, come up. Exhale, take the left foot, slide it out and away. Right foot, both stay flexed. Coming into our fire log once again. So if that's too much, slide the right leg in. You can see my knees a little higher on this side. That's normal too. We'll just work to balance things out the best we can. Inhale. Exhale, maybe start folding gently forward if you have it in your practice. Inhale, lift up. Now exhale, sweep the left leg around, coming into deer pose. Inhale. Now exhale, twist to the right side, come down to the left elbow. Breathe here or take the head down to the forearm. Twisting into this hip mobilizing variation. Inhale, come up, 
Slide the right leg back, lift your heart. Coming into our pigeon pose. And exhale, fold forward, coming on to the forearms or resting your forehead down. Inhale, come up, tend the right fingertips in front of the right leg. Fold the back leg in to the crease of the elbow or just hold on to the foot and we can possibly take mermaid. So we'll lift the right hand, take it behind the neck and reach for the left hand. Breathing here. Inhale, wherever you're at, release the back leg, extend. Now option of working into your side split. So we're halfway there here. So we'll tuck the back toes under as we reach the right leg out, press up onto your hands. Now square the hips forward and lift up. Now activate through both legs, really active, activate and contract everything. Active, active, active. Spread the toes, breathe. Keep holding. Now exhale, deepen in, playing with our neurological system here. Wobbling in, finding the right side split. <clears throat> Making sure that the hips stay relatively square. Try not to have them really open to the side. You could possibly fold forward towards the front leg, deepening into the hamstring. Take a couple more breaths here, exploring what feels good. Now inhale, sweep the left leg around towards the front, lift your arms up, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Take the left leg in front of you. Deer pose, lift your heart. And exhale, we'll twist to the left side, taking the right elbow down. Pressing and staying here, or you can take your forehead down, whatever feels better to you. Inhale, come up, slide the right leg back, coming into our pigeon pose. Roll the right knee under, lift your heart. You can always place a cushion under the left hip if you need to. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come forward, coming onto the forearms or relaxing the forehead down. Inhale, come up, lift. Take the left fingertips, tent them in front of the left leg, fold the back leg in. Reach for the back foot and we'll draw it in. You can stay right there or take the foot into the crease of the right elbow and lift the left arm, coming into our mermaid pose. Inhale, release, gently. Take your hands on both sides of the left leg. Start to extend the left leg out in front of you. Tuck the right toes under, pull the knee in, and we'll lift the back knee, taking the weight onto the hands. Now we're gonna activate your legs. Both legs contract, contract, contract. Fatiguing those muscles to help us deepen. Keep going, contract, contract, contract. Now exhale, come in, releasing the toes down, wobbling into your left side split. You'll notice probably one side is more flexible. Inhale and exhale, maybe come forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale. 
Slide both legs into a wide leg straddle position. Toes and knees pointed up. So we'll take it a little deeper in the straddle this time. So really drawing the hips forward as you keep the knees and toes up. So inhale, lift your heart and exhale, start walking yourself forward. If that's enough, stay right there. If you want more, come down onto the elbows. Keep breathing. Releasing deeply into our inner thighs. Now, if you can, work yourself down, relaxing the forehead down on the mat. I invite you to do so. And if you're flexible and want the challenge, you can shift forward onto the elbows, coming into your center uh, split. Keeping the knees and toes actively pressing upward, lowering the hips down. Being safe. Easing off if it's too much. Inhale. Start coming up. Slide the feet up towards the front of the mat, slide the bottom forward, and we'll roll down one vertebra at a time. Nice and slow. Take the fingertips towards the heels, and we'll roll up one vertebra at a time. Bring the shoulders together under you. You can keep the hands relaxed if that's enough, or interlace them under you, lifting the hips. Coming into bridge pose, or you could take wheel. If you wanna take wheel, maybe step the feet a little closer. Take the hands under the shoulders, one at a time, and press up onto your head. Now, begin pressing deeper, lifting up. Relaxing the head back. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Pressing forward through the arms. Now exhale wherever you're at, start coming down slowly one vertebra at a time. Relax your knees together for just a moment. Now inhale, start lifting your legs up. Let's just circle the ankles. Now start picking the hips up, contracting the lower abs. As we lift the legs over, over you, coming into plow pose, come onto the shoulders. So wiggle on tops of the shoulders and keep the chin up off the chest. Take the hands behind you and extend interlaced fingers or hold the hands up the back. Coming into plow pose. Possibly deepening, bringing the the knees towards the ears. Now we'll take the hands up the back, coming into our shoulder stand. Keep the chin up off the chest once again. Now take the hands down, roll yourself down to the mat, open, the knees, take the hands on top of, or the hips on top of the hands. Now press onto your elbows as you take the head back, coming into a bound angle, fish variation. Counter stretch from our shoulder stand. Exhale, come off of the elbows. And we'll draw our knees in towards our chest. Give the low back a little massage. It's a lot of work we did and a lot of stretching into the hips as well. Inhale. Exhale your knees over to the left side. Open the right elbow. Look to the elbow. Option to extend the top right leg. Supine spinal twist. Giving our organs and Find a massage, a hug. Inhale, 
come back to center, take the head towards the knees, crunch it in. Exhale, drop the knees over to the right, look to the left elbow. Option to extend the top leg, deepening into the twist. Inhale, we'll open your knees and come into your happy baby, reaching for the outer edge of the foot or the big toe. Closing outer practice, my favorite way. You can stay right here if that feels good, or maybe come into a straddle, or bring the legs together over the top of you, coming into a pike. Maybe lifting the hips up, bringing the soles of the feet together. Relaxing the knees down towards the mat, giving the low back a gentle massage. Inhale, exhale, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. And start working ourselves into our final resting Shavasana. Extending our arms and legs out to the sides. Allowing your arms, your shoulder blades to go down the back and the arms to splay out. Relaxing the lumbar curve down on the mat as well. You can put your legs up on a bolster or a cushion. Settle in, Shavasana. Thanking yourself for completing this power yoga workout for our hips. Now give your body the time it needs to absorb the effects of this healing practice. Let everything go. Melt into the mat, quieting mind and body. always press pause and stay here longer if you have the time otherwise start to wiggle the fingers and toes circle the wrists and ankles inhale stretch the body long exhale roll over to your side pausing before getting up inhale coming up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. And bringing our hands to the tops of our knees, tuning back into how we're feeling after practicing. And reconnecting with our affirmation. And connect within to find courage to leap without fear. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Inhale the arms up, overhead. Exhale the hands to your forehead. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Sending you peace and gratitude. Namaste.
If you enjoyed today's power yoga workout, you might check out my power yoga playlist and please show your support by subscribing for weekly flows. Leave a thumbs up, comment, request, or share with friends and family and check out twistingfitness.com. See you soon.